follow me, please. <sighs> Fighting two gods of destruction is as tough as I predicted. <sighs> this is the greatest pinch the Prism Rangers have seen in the entire series! Who cares how many there are? I have to protect Biko! It's okay, Bubby. Please, stop. Bubby's always getting hurt. And it's always Biko's fault. I want this to stop. I don't want Bubby to hurt anymore. If Biko's why Bubby gets hurt, then maybe I should just go away. Don't give up! Bubby? You can hear me, right, Biko? I'm sure you're blaming yourself right now. <laughs> don't be such a dummy. You didn't do anything wrong, so don't feel bad. I know you're worried about me, but Bubby will be just fine. I'm strong, you know. After all, I am your Bubby. Just hold on, Biko! Bubby's gonna save you as soon as he can! Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I hate to break it to you, but I won't be letting that happen. Go forth, gods of destruction. Devastate Zed and his allies! Biko protected Zed even in her current form? Biko can fight too! Bubby tried really, really, really hard and got super strong! I'm Bubby's little sister, so I can get stronger too! Go! Bubby! How? Those who turn into gods of destruction aren't capable of reverting back on their own! This is impossible! Don't you understand, Mijuel? The familial bond between Zed and Biko has made the impossible possible! That's right! Nothing's impossible with a bond like that on their side! And those bonds are formed through love! The power of love is immeasurable! In other words, little Biko's the best! I mean, that's what we're all saying, not just me, right? <laughs> oh, this is completely outside the realm of my calculations! <laughs> if you expect everything to go according to plan, you're in for quite a disappointment. Bah, fine! Yamada of Destruction, destroy everything! I'll be able to get a good shot. Soon this world will fall into my grasp. Now on. Y you are. 
would. I don't want to just watch Bobby protect me anymore. I want to help Bobby fight too. Biko. Okay. I never thought we'd end up fighting together, Biko. You've gotten pretty strong, huh? Yeah, because Biko is Bobby's sister. Oh, have you come to your senses, Yarmada? What a wonderful relief! <sighs> I was supposed to be the hero, but the king saved me. It's all backwards. Your majesty, I've been acting like the lowest of the low. Lower than a level one slime. The dog was right. I fled from my responsibilities as a hero and abused your kindness. From now on, I shall be known as Waste of Space Yarmada. That piece of scum who shamefully lives in secrecy. Enough, Yarmada. I believe that the man known as Hero Yarmada is merely in the midst of a much-needed constitutional. I am certain that once you have fully recovered from all of your traumas and injuries, you will return a greater man. Your Majesty, I... thank you. Cerberus! Ugh. Where'd that jerk run off to? I think Serby's looking for his grave. Like he was when you got here. His grave? <laughs> Guess that means he's finally ready to die. Nuh-uh, Bubby. He said his old body is gonna be all better soon. What? I see. The Super Sage Mishuel must be planning to use his own body to create the greatest god of destruction ever! There's no time to lose! After him! to go. Do you recall, Zed, that the strength of the sacrifice determines the strength of the resulting God of Destruction? Even Biko, who has practically zero power, was considered the strongest ever recorded. If Mishuel's body was sacrificed, then who could say what would happen? He was unmatched in both mind and magic. All we gotta do is kill him before that happens. <laughs> I'm afraid I can't allow that, for we must all have a tragic ending together. Naive! Are you here to stand in our way again? Of course! I shall pen the tragic end to this tale myself. I won't let you! As your older sister, I command you to stop this madness! Oh, what gives you the right to act like my sister? You didn't even know I existed!
getting way too easy to turn into a god of destruction. Naive, you said before that a tragic end together would bring happiness to all. But you don't look the least bit happy to me. You and I are two sides of the same coin. Don't you wish to have a happy ending of your own? It isn't easy to achieve a happy ending for everyone. Believing it's even possible may just be a dream. But isn't overcoming hardships and achieving our dreams exactly what we princesses do? Naive, let's find a happy ending together. not alone. Like I said, we're two sides of the same coin. Uh-huh. It isn't like you to be so kind, dear sister. Could it be that the time you've spent with a certain someone has changed you? Don't look at me! Naive, won't you try finding a happy ending together with all of us? Absolutely not! That sounds too tragic, even for me! Naive! Oh, fine, I'll consider it, alright? <sighs> a useless idiot is still a useless idiot, even if they become a god of destruction. That voice... Cerberus! Cerberus! Pah! That is nothing more than the name Biko gave me. Behold, for I am Mishul, the Super Sage! Who cares what you call yourself? I'm about to rip you to shreds! He was considered the legendary witch's equal. Strong, smart, and handsome. How unfair can things possibly get? After repeated super reincarnations, my battle with Ivar pushed my body beyond its limit. But now, it is restored. As you can see for yourself. Biko. I should stop with these silly games and get back to destroying the universe now. I'm not done with you. Get back here, you little... <laughs> that indomitable spirit is your greatest strength, but your body has reached its limits. How would you even stop me? Hold it! Where do you think you're going? Cerberus! What should we do, Zed? I certainly can't afford to let him escape like this. I won't. I don't care about the rest of the universe. But I can't lose Biko again. I'll find that stupid mud and tear him apart with my own two hands. You are planning to use super reincarnation again, are you, Prince Zed? Your body's already... Doesn't matter. Let's go. Super reincarnation. I won't let you get away, Cerberus. You better be ready. 
Zombies like me are stubborn as hell. Previously on Disgaea 6, Super Reincarnated Zed and Company found themselves in a brand new world. In this mysterious world of adventure, it's said that Overlord Ivar will grant the wish of he who gathers seven orbs. Please, give me the power to kill Cerberus! Very well, I shall grant you a wish. Woohoo! I've become a Super Zedian! This! This is for Pico! Oh, why me? The wheels of reincarnation never stop, and thus a new story begins. Prince said, I'm fine. Don't worry about me, Melodia. Bobby, are you and Melodia going to get married? N no, why would we? Aww, I just thought Bobby and Melodia looked nice together. My, you're such a sweet girl, Pico. La 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 to our happy ending we go. Yay! <laughs> I love happy endings. Everyone, look at that. Huh? Is that a statue of Mishuel? Hmm. This must be his world or something. Who's the lady by his side? His love interest, maybe? I've seen her before. She's the one who... I can only remain in this world a little while longer. But before I go, please listen. I will tell you how to save your sister. My, I never imagined the legendary witch and the Super Sage were connected. Hmm. Do you think this is Super Reincarnation's doing, or is it another one of Mishuel's traps? Who cares? I'm just here to tear Cerberus to pieces. Bobby, 